As ever, I'm going to use a pencil and a pen, an eraser, and the watercolors too. So I'm going to start off by drawing um, a circle for the head, and this will really kind of the size of the circle you start with kind of really determines the size of the whole drawing from there on. And then just just down at the bottom here, kind of a squidgy circle with a little squidgy circle about there. And then you're going to want the ears to be going off a bit like that. And then that's just coming that way a little bit. And then we're going to want to have the body kind of like that. And then we're going to want the back legs. And we're going to want to have the sort of front legs sort of coming down about like that. And I'm also going to sort of remind myself where the eyes are about to go roughly. And also have them sort of pointed so that I can see that they're looking at me as well. So I'm just going to start with a little bit of that sort of hair along the top like that, and hair, yeah. Um, and then I'm doing these kind of funny kind of ears, which hmm, well, they're not really like that, are they? But uh, but it does sort of make them look cute if you do their ears like that and we'll have that kind of make it so that it's looking at us and then that will come across there like that and there we go like that I think that's okay and then we're going to want to do the eye like that and we really want to make sure it's looking at us. But that's okay, let's see how this goes. I think it might have a kind of regal kind of... Uh, je ne sais quoi about it by looking up like that. And here we're going to do... Um, A sort of cute little mouth like the little lips underneath so mm, they're not really like that and <laughs> this is when the artistic license starts to come in and um, you're gonna bring that down to there and this is where the body's gonna come so we want this really kind of long body being a hair um, and I think then that's going to come sort of around that way. And then we want this. So that's the big thigh there. And then, then that's going to sort of go up into a scut of a tail. And that's coming down there. And we're going to want to have this sort of big <laughs> back legs paws like that. And then we can bring the front leg down like that and that okay, will also be slightly kind of furry on the back there and we can bring the tummy all the way down and so this line is kind of demarcating demarcating sort of dark on the back and light on the front put those paws in there and again we can have another pair of paws here with a that kind of furriness on the back of the leg part there and then we can maybe have you know, a few more bits of fur line mark suggestions like that. And then we're also going to want to have the, the other back leg in there as well. And then I think we can just have some little bits of grass here like that. And then I get my trusty hairdryer. Make sure the ink is completely dry before you erase all those pencil lines. So I am asked if I rehearse and practice these drawings at all. <laughs> Here you are. Um, this one has really kind of got to me somehow. It's a very weird thing because I want to have two eyes and a hair only has one eye showing because they want to be able to see kind of 180 degrees <laughs> either side. Um, but I want to have two eyes so that he's kind of looking at you and that gets really tricky. Um, I've, I've got to quite like that, but not entirely happy. 
I'm trying a bit of colour just to see what would happen. So, um, tried a bit of colour, tried doing it just in pencil, uh, and then I left it and I came back to it this morning and your brain does things overnight. Um, and I thought, yeah, I'm ready to have a go now. Oh, and then I, <laughs> I did a few more sketches uh, while watching um, the telly last night as well, just sort of practicing, rehearsing. Now I'm going to paint this. I'm using a Pentel Aquash paintbrush, which is slightly different uh, to a, a normal paintbrush. It has the water in the handle. Uh, let me clean this out. So the water flows through um, into the, the brush part. So if you give it a bit of a squeeze, then you'll get some water come out of it. This is supposed to be Naples yellow. It's looking very yellow. And I'm going to put a little bit of that in there and and in the ears, which is not really right. <laughs> Should be a bit more grey, but I'm I'm kind of anthropomorphizing. Um, we want a little bit of sort of softness in here. So this is um, scarlet that I'm dropping in there just to give a little pink softness like that and maybe a little bit more around there and then you know, we're kind of talking brown really <laughs> so there's okay with a bit of uh, burnt umber in there um, it's pretty much all brown uh, there we go. And this is kind of dribbling into um, where I've painted already uh, these brushes can go a bit wonky sometimes and they, if you leave them for a long time they can get kind of um, clogged up with bacteria and <laughs> stuff <laughs> and um, that's, that's what had happened to my brushes so this morning I've had a big clean and which means that they're kind of this is flowing very fast um, so they do they do work differently so I've got this kind of constant flow of uh, water pouring out of the brush which I'm having to handle <laughs> uh, so we want a nice little kind of grey white scut tail there and I'm going to get a bit more burnt umber and just kind of while it's wet just drop it in and in, in, in places where I want some shadow um, and then that means I'll get a really soft um, sort of shadow as you can see I'm sort of pushing the pigment around I think I want that a bit darker around there probably uh, um, and that's dried a little bit. I'll get a bit more of this Naples yellow and just kind of mix it in with what I've got already. And I'm just going to paint that into there because it needs to be, I think white would be, it's just too much and it's not kind of right really, but this wants to be quite white on the tail. Um, I think we can maybe just sort of flick a bit of um, sort of hair brushwork up like that. And I feel this needs to be flicked upwards. Um, it's working anyway at the moment. And and the colour I'm using, I'm, I'm just kind of scraping off there. I'm not mixing anything. I'll make that a bit darker around there, I think. Um, so this is now dried, um, the first sort of coat of dark brown has dried and so this is painting on top rather than kind of blending in. Let me move that over here, you can see the paint a bit more. Um, and I'll make that a bit darker. The paintbrush uh, <laughs> is a little bit unsubtle I suppose, but but that also adds to the thing so I'm really working to get a point on it to keep
cheaper point on it as well. This is neutral tint, which is a kind of a bluey gray brown. You can do, if you get the burnt umber like that, and then you get some French ultramarine, these are colors you usually get in a set like this. Look, that pretty much is the same color um, like that. And I like to use that for shadows. It's really good. Like that, sweet honey. And then I'm cleaning the brush. So squeezing very gently. Um, so now there's just clean water coming out and I can add clean water to that so it just kind of fades nicely there. I think we'll maybe have something under there as well, a little bit of sort of shade. And we're going to want a little bit of shade underneath there too, which will allow me to brush a bit of that <laughs> overpaint of brown out from there. And we're just, just flicking in some kind of bit of fur and then we can make that maybe make that a bit darker there as well um like that and we're going to want to have a bit of sort of shade underneath the eyes like that and a bit of a flick game back up there and definitely darker in there and darker along the bottom there when I say the bottom, I mean the lower level rather than the derriere. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to get some sort of quite green. Oh, that's very green. <laughs> sort of emerald green. And I'm just going to flick up some grass like that. And then just to do the eyes, really. I think once I've done the eyes, maybe a little bit of a bit more scarlet. That's too much. Just in that bottom sort of lip there, maybe a little bit like that. Um, just gonna try and make that nose a little bit pinker. I mean, it wouldn't be pink, really. I'm just sort of making it look luscious like that. Now, I just want to clean this up here. And again, clean the brush, squeeze the brush slightly, dip dab, and then we can get a nice um, clean, <laughs> clean brush. And then I'm going to put this yellow in here, um, leaving a little bit of white around there and then a good load of burnt sienna quite strong oh I'm trying to get a point on the end of the brush and just drop that in on the top while it's still wet and then it'll kind of fade and blend in with the yellow underneath. Uh, there's something missing, I can tell there's something missing. <laughs> I, I, I'm a great one for uh, forgetting whiskers. So we'll do that. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more shade into the ears yet. Uh, a bit more in like that. And sort of coming down that side there. And maybe a bit in there. Uh, we might need a bit Ooh. around the top there, a bit of sort of shading. Mm, means I need to put a bit more around. Maybe a bit on, on the back there. And it's just kind of trying to get a hint of this sort of messiness of them i think you know rabbits are kind of quite smooth and <laughs> i think hairs are just hairy aren't they and maybe that's why they're called hairs <laughs> they just got that kind of slight like mess about them and then i do not want to forget <laughs> the whiskers so we're going to get quite a bit of that going on um 
and I still think I need some more shade so I'm getting more um, neutral tint in there so I'm gonna just keep keep working this I think just sort of dabbing on is it color tone anyway shade <laughs> And still underneath there, it's a bit kind of messy. Clean the brush here so I can then kind of wash that color out like that. And I do think we need some more in there like that. I'm trying to make it look like f fur rather than little blobs. And, and again underneath there. And again trying to make it look more like fur rather than blobs. Um, that's quite a lot sort of darker down there I think. Uh, and I think we need more green too. It's just not quite there, is it? So I'm going to bring some of that up around there. And maybe some sort of darker bits in there as well, like that, just to kind of bring the whole thing up a little bit there. Good, I'm going to leave it there. If you would like to buy this, the original artwork, click up here, follow the links to my website. If you'd like to buy a mug or a t-shirt, click up here and follow the links too. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye. Aeroplane flying overhead.